Let's go. Hello and welcome quiz fans. I'm Neve and thank you so much for joining me. I'm sure like me, you've been watching A Life on Our Planet. It's the amazing new film from the legend that is Sir David Attenborough. If you haven't, you really should. Not only is it a great watch, it's so important because in the film, Sir David shows us how the world has changed since he started in TV. And what's more, shows us how we can fix it. First up today, we're going to get to the bottom of the problem, us. We've changed our planet so much that we now live in our own geological age. Welcome to the Anthropocene, the age of humans. Now, you all know, of course, that human is not the scientific name for our species. We are Homo sapiens. And what does that mean? Wise persons. So it's time for us to smarten up and preserve our planet. But first, let's get quizzical. I'm going to ask you 10 questions all about the Anthropocene. You'll have 10 seconds to select your answers. Right, are you ready to play? Let's go. Okay, it's time for your first question. What do anthropo and scene mean in the word Anthropocene? Man and new, man and age, animal and new, or animal and age? Man and new, man and age, animal and new, or animal and age? The correct answer is, of course, man and new. Anthropo, which as you all know is Greek for human, and seen means new. I suppose you learn something seen every day. Now for your next question. In 2010, how long did the average person live for? Is it 53 years, 41 years, 69 years or 75 years? So is that 53 years, 41 years, 69 years or 75 years? That is a tough one. Well done if you got that one. The answer is in fact 69 years. Compare that to 1960 when the average life expectancy was just 53. That's a 30% increase in just 50 years. Yes, so we are all living longer and that means that we'll have more time to do our bit to save the planet. Right, here comes your next question. What is the global population predicted to be in 2045? Is it 7 billion, 6 billion, 9 billion or 8 billion? I'll do that again. 7 billion, 6 billion, 9 billion or 8 billion? It's a lot of billions to say in one sentence. Easy hard question? Well, it is a whopping 9 billion. That is even more believable when you think that every second, five more people are born on this planet. Every time I click my fingers, five, 10, 15, jeez. Right, let's put these hot brains on ice for a second and watch this from Sir David. Biodiversity is a term that represents the total variety of all life on Earth. That's a big thing to sum up. Thousands of different wild habitats, millions of different species, billions of different individuals, and the trillions of different characteristics they all have. The total biodiversity of our planet is immense, which is a good thing, because the more biodiversity, the more secure all life on Earth is, including ourselves. So here's your question. What is biodiversity? Pollution and global warming, destroying wildlife and habitats, the increase of human populations, or the variability of life on Earth. Pollution and global warming, destroying wildlife and habitats, the increase of human populations, or the variability of life on Earth. Yes, as Sir David was highlighting, biodiversity is essential to a healthy planet. But in the past 50 years, humans have become out of balance with the natural world. Right, here's your next question. In the past 50 years, we've lost 75% of what? Wild animals, beaches, 
icebergs or trees. So that's wild animals, beaches, icebergs or trees. Get those answers ready because I'm about to reveal what the correct answer is. Do you know it? The answer is, of course, wild animals. Amazingly, all of the mammals on Earth, 96% are livestock and humans, and only 4% are wild mammals. Okay, time for your next question. What does the word extinction mean? The decrease of a population, the protection of a species, the increase of a population, or the dying out of a species? The decrease of a population, the protection of a species, the increase of a population, or the dying out of a species. There we go. Extinction occurs when species die out or are exterminated. Not by Daleks, most of the time, by humans. Scientists estimate that due to human activity, we are losing up to three species an hour. Okay, here's your next question. What is considered to be the world's rarest big cat species? Is it the Amur leopard, jaguars, snow leopards, or tigers? So, is it the Amur leopard, jaguars, snow leopards, or tigers? A little bit of a tricky one. Do you know the answer? Well, the Amur leopard is certainly an elusive character. Fun fact about these guys is, like humans, they have unique fingerprints. Amur leopards have unique spot patterns, which means that we can identify them individually. Unfortunately, there's only around 100 Amur leopards in the wild. Because of this, they are listed as critically endangered. Okay, it's time for your next question. After decades of conservation work, wild pandas are now classed as which of the following? Vulnerable, critically endangered, near threatened, or endangered? So, is it vulnerable, critically endangered, near threatened or endangered. A little bit of a tough one, but in a welcome piece of good news for the world's wildlife, the giant panda was recently downgraded from endangered to vulnerable on the global list of species at risk of extinction, showing how conservation can help save our planet's vanishing biodiversity. Interesting fact for you, though pandas spend 10 to 16 hours a day eating bamboo, they used to be carnivores. Right, here is your question, and it's a picture question. Take a look at this. What does this image show the destructive effects of? Is it deforestation, conservation, global warming, or renewable energy? So I'll go through those one more time. Deforestation, conservation, global warming or renewable energy? Is it an easy answer? Is it an easy one for you? Well, the answer is, of course, deforestation. A terrifying reminder of the impact us humans have on our planet. Since humans started cutting down forests, 46% of trees have been lost. Okay, so for your 10th and final question. Do we have a duty to protect and share the Earth's resources? No, we are used to our current way of life. Yes, not right away. No, humans should only worry about themselves. Or yes, all species rely on the Earth's resources to survive. Tough question, do you know the answer? Is it hard? Well, last question, here is the answer. Yes. All species rely on the Earth's resources to survive. This dependency on one another is what keeps our Earth ticking along. That's all for today. Well done to all of you quizzers. That was our whistle stop tour of the Anthropocene. I hope this has given you more of an insight into the age of humans and what we have done to the planet. But more importantly, what we can do to help to ensure that we get back in balance with the natural world. Be sure to visit getset.life to find out more about rewilding our world. I hope you've had fun. I'll see you in the next quiz.